For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that I that is of a contrite and humble spirit to to revive, revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Amen. 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 So you have a prayer request? Rusty, I'd like for people to remember my sister, Sally. Sally's 83 and she's lost. And she's not doing well. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to see her say, Amen. Mm -hmm. My niece's husband mm -hmm. had his uh, leg removed last week, and I'd like to all pray for that.
Jesus is my answer. Yes, you know, yes, if yes, I can yes. stand and do something wrong with me, you know, yesterday I stood, I stood for the Lord, and you know, I never felt so alone in all my life right. at that wedding. You know, one person there took I ain't even follow his name in vain. And I mean, it went through me like a streak of light. And Bless I got all upset. Bless and I said, I'm going to praise the Lord. I'm going to let my little light shine. Yeah. Right. Hey, you know, yeah. I sit down and thank God for that barbecue. Thank God for the things that was going on. And I said, Lord, please save them. They're walking in the darkness. They don't know no better. Yeah. Help my children, Lord. Each and every one of them is lost tonight. They need Jesus. They need a friend like Jesus. Yeah. He sticks closer than a brother. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to see each and every one of us. And I come to praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Lazarus had been missing from the grave too awfully long before that, just, just a few days before. And, uh, they had that supper for him about six days before the, the Passover. And, uh, but as all these things were beginning to take place, a lot of people didn't understand what was in the midst was in the fullness of God's timetable. He was about to bring into the hope that we have today. And those were still looking forward to the cross, but we had the privilege of looking back and seeing God's love for us and what He's done for us through His Son. And the love that Jesus had, and been able to endure all of the persecution, and humiliation, and everything else that He went through with, even uh, as they prepared Him for the cross. Somebody does some of us that way. We're trying to do a good deed. We're just saying, "Well, we'll treat me that way." I just don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. I'm just glad Jesus is not that way. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And He was faithful enough to walk all about the hill, and even though He was very beneath the load of it all, and things. But even though He was 100 percent God. I'm thankful for the Lord and I thank the first love as we begin to think of this coming week and even though they prayed and put the palm leaves out and celebrated and cried out their hands to him that Sunday, just a few days later they find out crucifying him. So the hearts can turn easily if it's not really rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus what God has sent His Son to do for us. And so, thank you for the service we had last night. Yeah. Most of all, I'm thankful because God met with us in a special way. Yeah. Right. And He'll meet with us tonight. Yeah. 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 It won't be the same service because right. it's not the same, but it's the same kind of service that we have the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to just eat and beat off of that all the time. We want to be able to uh, do the same tonight, uh, but not artificially. We are trying to let the Lord's love flow from part of the heart. Just feel His presence within our midst and let Him have His way with us. And uh, the preaching was extra good last night. The singing was extra good. Everything was good about people went out uh, rejoicing in their heart. Yes. They were here. Uh, we can do that at all times. Uh, every service is different. But God knows what we have need of tonight. And we're just opening up our hearts to Him. Uh, he'll have our delight. Looking forward to the singing and the preaching tonight. For whatever God may lay yes. on the hearts of each one. Amen. 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 Yeah. I want to stand and thank the Lord for saving my soul and forgiving me of all my sin. Amen. Amen. All of my sin. Amen. I, I want to thank Him also that in His Word it says that Jesus Christ did not do one miracle as God. Right. He did it under anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. How God anointed Him to go do good. Amen. Yeah. Going about doing good. And, and I. I want to thank you for the Holy Spirit tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I want to thank you for the Holy Spirit that dwells within me that that's what makes me good. That's what makes me righteous is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's that, it's that blessed guarantee. Here, He said, Here, here's the earnest of that inheritance. Amen. He's like, here's just a down payment yeah. of what's to come. A hey. down payment of what's to come. And I'm just so thankful tonight, Lord, that I, He saw fit to let that down payment come. And amen, I, I'm excited because how good is it now? Yeah. It's going to get better. <laughs> it's going to get gooder and gooder. Amen. I'll, I'll speak kick. Amen. I'll, hey, I, I just want to thank the Lord that, you know, uh, I just love Him. Praise God. I love Him. Because yeah. He first loved me. Amen. He loved me in spite of me. Bless you. Right. 
And he still loves me in spite of, in spite of me. And you know, it's, it's that Holy Spirit. Don't want to get to the Holy Spirit. He's what leads us. Amen. He's what leads us, guides us, yes. and directs us. It's right. Him. It ain't nothing that we do on ourselves. It's the Holy Spirit. And praise God, I come tonight expecting. Yes. I come tonight expecting yes. Glory. <laughs> something glorious to happen. Amen. Amen. Some bondages being broken. Amen. Amen. Right. Some people being set free. Yes. And praise God, maybe somebody just getting rededicated. Whatever it is, or just the Lord, let His glory fall. Amen. Amen. Fill this place so we can't see. Amen. Amen. Fill this place with His glory to where we can't see each other. Amen. Amen. We can't look at each other. Amen. Amen. Is there much glory in here? And I just want to thank you for the opportunity to come in this Amen. house again to worship Him and praise Him. Praise God. I did two sisters come in the house tonight to praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all pray for me and I'll pray for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm thankful to be here. Yep. The Bible says that the path of the just is as a shining light that it shineth brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. And I'm glad, brother, that it's not getting darker for me as I'm going yeah. toward, uh, uh, growing older. I'm glad that it's getting brighter. Amen. Yeah. My Jesus is light. The Bible said uh, that God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. And bless the Lord, I thank God uh, uh, for that man that sat at the uh, entrance of the temple. Amen. And the Bible said that Peter and John came there. And the Bible said that Peter said to him, look upon us. Uh, and he looked upon us uh, and he was expecting to receive something. And he said, silver and gold yeah. uh, have I none but such as I have give yeah. out of thee uh, in the name of Jesus Christ he said rise uh, and walk yeah. and praise be the Lamb of God uh, that man didn't just walk he went running uh, and leaping uh, and praising God uh, and I say, uh, my Savior yeah. raised me from the grave uh, hallelujah I was dead in trespasses yeah. and sins uh, but glory be to God uh, the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the grave uh, dwells inside of me uh, Quickens my mortal body. Yeah. I'm telling you tonight, uh, Amen. That that same Spirit, He yeah. lives yeah. on the inside. Uh, yeah. And I praise His holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for saving a wretch like me. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. We'll turn to 146 in the mall.
you give up today, just hold on a little longer, help is on the way. Jesus, 
He's coming again. The trump of God sounding, dead rising up then. All caught up to me. He's coming again. He's coming again. Be ready, my friend. We'll all stand before him, whatever we've been. The rocks and the Be living for Jesus, He's coming again. Be living for Jesus, He's coming Hey! 
what the devil tries to do. Amen. Amen. I'm serving a God that's in control. Yes, he yes. is. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Ephesians chapter 1. Reading from the Living Bible tonight. The King James Version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's alive. Amen. Yes, he is. Yeah. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1. Let's read uh, about three or four verses, starting with verse 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of His glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would clear my mind. Lord, I stand upon hallowed ground tonight. Lord, I cannot have anything, Lord, that would, uh, that would uh, uh, affect my concentration, affect the anointing, so I just plead the blood right now over my mind, over my soul, Lord, over my spirit, and I pray for a fresh anointing tonight, Lord, that I might be able to preach tonight the unsearchable riches of Christ. And I pray that as the power of the anointing goes out tonight, Lord, it would go out and touch the hearts. Lord, it would prick the hearts of those that's not right with Jesus tonight. I pray tonight that those, Lord, that are right with you, Lord, that you would cause them to fall in love with you more than they ever have in their life. Lord, we realize we're living in the last days. And Lord, we, what was, must be done must be done quickly. And I pray tonight, Father, that from this moment forward, everyone here would be changed for the glory of God. And Lord, we'll thank you for it. it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. You know, when Jesus wrote his last will and testament, he made it possible for us to share in his last will and testament. The word adoption is the act of God by which he gives his born ones or, or those that's been born again an adult standing in the family. I, I know many times we refer to people that's just newly saved as a newborn baby in Christ. And yes, they are. But the word adoption there means that God gives us an adult standing. And why does he do this? So we might immediately begin to claim our inheritance. Bless God. Yeah. We can claim our inheritance Lord. down here. Yeah. The Bible says yeah. in the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, the Spirit itself bears witness with yeah. our spirit that we are oh, the children of God yeah. and the children heirs and, and, and heirs of God and joint heirs yes, with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't have to wait till I get yeah. on the other side. I can claim my inheritance tonight. Yeah. Glory be to God. Hey. Which means uh, that Jesus cannot claim his inheritance uh, until apart from us. Uh, so when he gives his, uh, we get ours. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. And he has received his. And everybody that gets saved uh, from, the, from the cross up until the time of the resurrection, uh, we can claim our inheritance uh, tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Amen. It's a terrible thing yeah. to be a jillionaire and not know it. I don't believe I come here to pay the night. You've got an inheritance and you can claim it in Christ Jesus yeah. and what he did at the cross. Yeah. The Bible says in, being, in the book of Acts chapter 1, and being assembled together with him, he commanded them uh, that they should not depart from Jerusalem, uh, but wait for the promise of the Father, uh, which saith ye, you have heard of me. He said, for John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost yeah. uh, not many days hence. Uh, hallelujah. A lot of times when you start to mention the, the Holy Ghost, the church gets all scared. But hallelujah, that's the spirit of the yeah. 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 Glad I'm not afraid of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. There's a vast difference between just being born in the spirit.
Spirit and being baptized in the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, come on. At the cross, Satan was totally defeated. Yeah. The Bible says in the book of 1 John 3 and 8, for this purpose yeah. was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy the works of yeah. the devil. Hallelujah. The devil has no power yeah. over those that claim the blood of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. I'm talking about a total defeat for the devil. Yes, the problem with our faith tonight, many times our faith is misplaced. We have faith in ourselves, faith in our faith, faith in, the, in our church, and even faith in the word. The word. It's okay to have faith in the word, but you don't twist the word around to make, it, right. you make it say what you want to say and then have faith in it. we got to believe just exactly the way it was written. Amen. 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 Our faith must be anchored in the cross. For it was there that the price was paid for our victory. And our victory was won. If our faith is placed in anything other than the cross, we're backslidden. Amen. Amen. Come on. The Spirit of God will not work, as I said last night, outside of the parameters of the cross. That's right. Amen. He will not work. Though, you, though you're sincere, you can be sincerely wrong. Though you're doing your best, the Spirit of God is not going to work unless you have your faith totally in the finished work yeah. of Calvary. Amen. 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 Come on, preacher. Praise God. Yeah. I remember years ago when I when I uh, first got saved, I fell in love with Jesus, but I had a cigarette problem. I loved God and I wanted to quit cigarettes. Now, if you smoke cigarettes tonight, I'm not going to say you're lost, but bless God, God wants you to quit. Amen. Amen. If you're dipping, God wants you to quit. If you're cussing, God wants you to quit. Amen. If you're drinking, God wants you to quit. Amen. Amen. If you're into internet pornography, God wants you to quit. Amen. Amen. If you're into anger, God wants you to quit. Amen. If you're full of unforgiveness, God wants you to give it up. Amen. If you're full of hatred, God Glory. wants you to give it up. You say, Randy, are you telling me that Christians can be in that? Absolutely! Amen. But I remember I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes. I got saved, I was smoking. And I guess I could continue to smoke because everybody else in the church was smoking. I didn't see anything wrong with it. But bless God, I, God began to deal with my heart. He was wanting to clean me up. And he wanted me, to, wanted me to quit smoking. And I would be sincere. I'd get down on my knees in my bathroom and I'd begin to pray and ask God. And I'd say, I'm going to quit, Jesus. I want to quit for you. And I'd take those cigarettes and I'd flush them down the commode. And you know what? I thought I had victory. I'd get up the next morning and get my clothes on, go to go mart and get me some cigarettes. That went on and on, on and on for about a year. And not every night. I may quit for a month and then I'd start back again. And then I'd quit for a week and I'd start back again. But I wanted to quit. One night God woke me up. I remember it was a Friday night, 1984. And I went to God said, you go pray. Now I was not only praying about being delivered of cigarettes, I was praying about something that God was showing me that the church said it's not for today. But bless God, I believe everything yeah. in the word is for today. Yeah. 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 Show me. Show me when it ain't for today and I'll believe it. Yeah. 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 Amen. You show me a date to time where God said that would cease and I'll believe it. Now I know I'll turn some of y'all, but that's all right. Yes, the Lord. I'm turning on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that night God woke me up about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I went to my bathroom and I began to pray. And I was seeking God not just for deliverance of cigarettes. Yes, I wanted to be delivered. But I was seeking Him with all my heart for an answer. Not to what man says, but to what the Word of God says. <laughs> Amen. Fain is to help a man. Right, Hallelujah. Can't no man help you. Bless God. Only God can help you. Yeah. Only God can yeah. deliver you. Only the power of Almighty yeah. God can set you yeah. free. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I begin to pray. And I said, Lord, show me your glory. Yeah. I've got to see your glory. And you know what he showed me? He showed me the cross. Yeah. That's the glory. Paul said, I'll not glory. Yeah. Save in the cross. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 At that
that cross, you know what I've seen? I've seen victory for anybody Praise and everybody. Yeah. Every sin yeah. that mankind, yeah. even I'm talking about Christians. Right. You, you say, Randy, you believe yeah. Christians uh, can I be in bondage to sin? Yes. Absolutely, Paul was. He said, that which I would, I do not. That which I would not, that I do. Bless God. God can deliver you, though, yeah. when you see the power of the cross. Yeah. 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 Most people will tell you, well, that was Paul's... Uh, 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 experience before you ever got saved. I never did see a sinner that hated sin. Yeah, that's right. Amen. I never did want to see, see a sinner that wanted to quit. Amen. Amen. Never did. I enjoyed my sin when I was sinning. I like to drink a few. I like to tote a few. I like to do it. I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it. The Bible says there's pleasure in yeah. sin for a season. Yeah. 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 Come on. He showed me the power of the cross Amen. and every and every sin that there was that you could think of: adultery, murder, hatred, variance, emulations, cigarettes. All of it was down there in the form of a serpent. And when he showed me the power and the glory of the cross, when one drop of his blood fell and hit that serpent of nicotine, you know what I was delivered yeah. from nicotine? Yeah. From that very moment, ain't one yeah. another, ain't smoked another, and never will again. That's the power of God Almighty to yeah. deliver. Yeah. Every time I preach this, some people say, why is he preaching on cigarettes? I ain't preaching on cigarettes. If that's what you think I'm preaching on, whoop, Yeah. You just missed it. Yeah, come on. It's what, it's what has you bound tonight. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I remember I was preaching over Highs Creek one time. Half ladies over here mixed up in, uh, in soap operas. Oh, yeah. They missed it. Well, I didn't say anything wrong with soap operas until after I preached about it. Then after that, they started watching and they got convicted. Amen. I mean, I didn't convict him, but the Spirit of God yes, convicted you. You can't sit there and watch that, uh, that lustful stuff. Uh, said this man sleeping with this woman, this woman sleeping with that man, and telling me that God Almighty is there blessing you watching it. And I'm glad the power of God is yes, in your hey. Hey. You only believe it. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. People doing all kinds of things. Saying they're saved. Getting up and singing. Getting up and preaching. Getting up and testifying. Bless God, clean your act up Amen. before you try to sing or preach to Amen. me. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Don't try to teach me. Don't witness to me. Don't do anything until you get your act cleaned up. Amen. 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 Say amen right yeah. there. Yeah. That's good preaching. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm talking about the power of God. Yeah. Me and this brother was talking before church. A whole lot of people don't think spiritual today. They just think in the natural. Yep. Bless God, you got to get out of the natural Amen. mind. Yeah. The natural mind can't understand the That's things right. of God. These things are spiritually discerned, but I'm telling you, the power of the throne can set you free. Yeah. Amen. Whatever you want to be set free. Amen. Amen. And if you're there sitting in your holy and righteous attitude, you say, Randy, I don't need to be set free. You got the worst kind of all. Yeah. You got pride. Yeah. You need to be set free. Of that. That's the worst kind. Yeah. Amen. Come on, preach it. Again, for this purpose was the Son of God manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Amen. I'm not afraid of the devil. That's I'm not worried about the devil. Amen. People say, well, you believe in us speaking in tongues? I'm scared of Christians' tongues more than I am. Uh, uh, the gift of tongues. I'm scared of the, the, these two, these four kinds. Christians come up and pat you in the back one minute, tell you they love you, and while you're walking away, they stab you in the back. Yeah. Yeah. That's the ones I'm afraid of. Amen. Acts 1 and 8, he said, But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the world. We must remember that that power is vested in the cross. Yeah. There is no power outside of the cross. Amen. Paul said, Under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and you say, Randy, who's the author of this? It's the Holy Spirit. Yes, he is. Right. Holy men of God wrote this book because they was moved by the Holy Spirit. It ain't man's word. It's God Almighty. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1 and 18, for the preaching of the cross it is to them that perish foolish, but unto us which believe it is the power of God. The preaching of the cross is the power of God. 
People get tired of hearing about the preaching of the cross, but don't come and hear me no more, because for the rest of my days, I ain't going to preach on nothing but the cross. Just sit right here, sugar. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Bless her heart. Thank, Thank you, sugar. Amen. Oh. Hey, Isn't that a sweetheart? Yeah. Really? Amen. See, you could have had a reward if you'd done it. Look what you got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power of God, the preaching of the cross is the power of God. To the world, it's foolishness. And you know what? The sad thing is to most of the church world today, it's foolishness. Many of the largest churches in America today will no longer uh, uh, preach or allow their congregation to sing about the cross because they look at it as a day of defeat. They, they said, quoted this, some of the biggest pastors in this country today, some of the largest church said it was a day of defeat. And also they say it was the weakest moment in history. Bless God, I ain't listening to man. That's God right. said it is the power yeah. of God hey. in the preaching oh. of the cross. I believe in the cross. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It was the greatest victory ever won. Yeah. God sees it as the power of God. In our scripture reading tonight, verse 14 talked about the earnest. The Holy Spirit is our deposit. Tonight. 2 Corinthians 1 and 22 says, Who hath also sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. In the same book, chapter 5, verse 5, the scripture says, Now he that wrought for us the self ain't the same thing as God, who also has given us the earnest of the Spirit. Yeah. I'm talking about the down payment. Yeah. I've been blessed in my life to buy a few cars in my time. I paid the down payment, but I still got the car. Hallelujah. I got to smell in the mood. I got to drive it. I got to enjoy it. I got to pick up the girls in it. Hallelujah. To the life of God. I enjoyed it. And I just made a damn payment. Hallelujah. And if I got the damn payment of the Holy Ghost in my heart now, what's it going to be in his glory? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Didn't have the title, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I ain't got the full title possession of my entire inheritance, but I got part of it, and I'm enjoying what I can. <laughs> Hallelujah. I've been sanctified. I've been justified. And one day going to be glorified. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord of God forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Bless Woo. his holy name. Amen. Glory to his name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for electric fans. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Our earth. What is an earnest? An earnest is the token payment assuring the vendor the full amount will eventually follow. Hallelujah. The eventually follow. The deposit or partial payment is in itself a guarantee that the full amount will be paid later. Yeah. When I gave the earnest money on that car, gave earnest money on, on the house, <laughs> We were signing, we was guaranteeing that it was going to be paid. Yeah, amen. And when God sent the Holy Spirit to our life, He gave a full redemption for us. Now, I'm saved right now. The Bible says He's made us to sit together in heavenly places. I'm as good as there right yeah. now. But bless God, I got a work to do down here. Yeah. Jesus has taught me to preach, yeah. He's taught me to teach, yeah. He's taught me to evangelize. And when He's through, I'll go, but not until then. Amen. 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 Yeah. Now I love y'all, but I ain't going to tickle nobody's ear. That's right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. 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 I don't preach so you invite me back. Yes. Yes. I'll tell you the truth why I'm here. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. You might not ever be back, and I may not either. Bless God, I don't preach for money. Amen. Don't preach yeah. for people's hand claps. Amen. Don't preach for people to tell me how good I, I preach. I preach to please yeah. God. And one heart yeah. God Almighty. Amen. And if I please Him, everything else will be taken care of. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Amen. Too many preachers don't want to please people. Yeah. yeah. Right. Amen. I ain't out to please you. <laughs> 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 I'll say it feels the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. God's so good to us. Yes, yes. We need to praise Him with everything that's within us. Yes. Amen. I mean, it ought to not be boring to come to church. Yeah. Yeah. It ought to be the most exciting yeah. part of the day. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. I get to go to worship you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
says enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter into his courts with praise. Yes, God, he didn't say come in and sit down and want your blessing assurance. He's got to get up and sing and shout victory. Wouldn't walk across the street to hear a preacher. Wouldn't preach me the truth. Bless the Lord. Amen. I don't care if he's passing out on a beat. I ain't going. I don't want to be caught up in none of that stuff. Yeah. God's been too good to me. Yeah. Amen. Has he been good to you? Yeah. Amen. You ought to praise him tonight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He's worthy of praise. Yes. Salvation is in three parts. With we believers only having the first two parts right now. However, the third part is glorious beyond comprehension. Let me give you the three parts of salvation. Number one is sanctification. Mm. Yeah. This is a positional work of the Holy Spirit. And as well, is a, it's a not only a positional work, but it's a progressive work. We, when we're saved, when we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, we're sanctified. In other words, we are declared a, a, a clean. This happens when a sinner accepts Christ. Sanctification speaks of the sinner being made clean, which has to be done before he can be justified or declared clean. So when we get saved and we accept Jesus, we're sanctified. Once we get sanctified and made clean, then he can justify us. Yeah. The justification is the removal of all guilt and penalty of sin and the disposal of a, a positive righteousness. This is given according to uh, according to one's faith in Jesus Christ and what he did at the cross. It is a legal work which declares the believing sinner clean. Before you can be declared clean, you must be made clean. I was sanctified and then I was justified. Yeah. It was a legal thing that happened in heaven. God yeah. declared me clean Amen. just as though I'd never seen it. Hallelujah to yeah. the Lamb of God. And the final one. Now, if you're saved tonight, according to the Word, if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you've been sanctified. You've been <coughs> justified. Yeah. And the next, the part that we do not have yet, yeah. the one that is coming, is glorification. Yeah. We have sanctification. We have justification. <coughs> one day, it's glorification. This is the act of God transforming the present bodies of believers into perfect, sinless, deathless bodies. Hallelujah. It will take place at the resurrection yeah. or at the rapture. Paul said, writing to the church in Corinth, he said, Behold, yeah. I show you a mystery. Yeah, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling yeah. of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. For this incorrupt or this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruption is put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought yeah. to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in Oh, yes, where is our sin? Oh, right, where is our victory? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God's so good to us. Yeah. Hallelujah. The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He said there, last verse of that chapter. He said, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, yeah. always abounding yeah. in the work of the Lord. For ye know that your labor is not in vain in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Not in vain in the Lord. Mm. One day, God's glory in us will burst forth in all of its splendor. Amen. All the beholders in heaven and in earth will then sing to the praise of His glory. Amen. We read it tonight in Ephesians chapter 1, to the praise of His glory. We had the first two now. We have sanctification. We have justification. The Holy Spirit indwelling us believers 
is God's earnest money. I tell you what, I believe if God makes a down payment, He's going to pay it off. Yes, he will. Amen. 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 He ain't likely to go bankrupt. He ain't likely to get repossessed. Hallelujah. God's got it all. He owns it all. He owns the cattle on a thousand He owns the hill. He owns the God of gold in the hill. And if He ever did run out of money, He just makes some more. But He'll never run out of money. The streets are gold. The walls are jasper. The gates are a pearl. Hallelujah. God owns it all. The whole city. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he's got a mansion up there for every one of us. Hallelujah. Yeah. People say, I don't want a mansion. I just want a shack by the side of the road. You liar. Yeah. You liar. You know you want a mansion. Amen. 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 You know you want one. Come on. Don't try to be all spiritual and holy. Look all pious and bless God. You know you want a mansion. Amen. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house for many mansions. Yeah. You don't like for me to court at many shots. Yeah. Bless God, I'm living in a shot. I want a mansion. Yeah. He paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's in my inheritance. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Try to sound, sound real yeah. spiritual. Go ahead and just quit your mind. Go ahead and say, I want a mansion. Yeah. Bless God. <laughs> don't have to you know a lot of people today that's got a lot of money they live in gated communities these gates won't even have to be closed Amen. Lord hallelujah. hallelujah we don't need no gates right. hallelujah now there'll be walk, uh, gates of pearl up there but that I don't think they'll ever be shut hallelujah bless God they don't need to be shut there's no thieves or no robbers up there nothing's going to run it's going to be yeah. Bless God, I can't hardly wait to get yeah. there. I can't wait to inherit. Inherit my inheritance. But Jesus can't claim his till we get our Yeah, amen. amen. They used to sing a song years ago. They can't crown him king till we get there. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. They're getting ready to crown him, though. Yes, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says Praise if we'll be faithful, we can win crowns. Not that we're going to walk around with a crown. Bless God, the Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 4 that we'll craft our crowns at the feet of Jesus. Yeah. We didn't deserve anything. Do we think we deserve a crown? Amen. All glory goes to Him. And like Paul said, if I glory, I'm going to glory in the cross. Yeah. If I get there, Amen. it's because of the cross. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I kind of like it over here. Right? Do you know what? God told me everywhere I go, I'd be blessed. Yeah. Yeah. He said, I'd be blessed going in, yeah. and I'd be blessed coming out. Yeah. Everywhere he said, I'd lay the souls of my people, yeah. I'd be blessed. Hey. Why? Because I'm a child of the most high God. I need to leave God. Yeah. I'm not trusting in me. Yeah, come on. Praise not you. trusting in my church. Come on. Bless the Lord Jesus. Amen. Not trusting in I'm a uh, West Virginian or I'm an American. A lot of people think they're saved because they're American. Bless God, they're probably... Uh, the, America has been the most blessed country on the face That's of right. earth. And America will continue to be blessed as long as they take the gospel to a lost and a dying world. But Amen. when they quit taking the gospel, a judgment will fall. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Amen. God set us up and blessed us so we would take the gospel. Amen. 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 Paul said, I'm a debtor. Yeah. We owe. If God's done so much for us, we owe every sinner out there to give them a chance to be saved. Bless God. The church ain't for us to come to be blessed. Church is for us to be a blessing and to get the word out. Amen. Everybody said, Well, I've already been paid for my trip. Well, if that's what you came for to be paid, then you come for the wrong reason. Right. Amen. God don't pay you to come to church. Bless Amen. the Lord. That's right. You pay Him. Amen. When you come to church, you're to worship and magnify Him. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that deserves glory. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one that deserves praise. Yeah. David said, I will enter into His gates with thanksgiving and to His courts with praise. Hallelujah. Paul said, lift up hands, Amen. holy hands. Without wrath and doubt. And we'll wait till one of these days I preach on that. Bless Why in the world did you say without wrath? Ooh. Come on, man. You know, if you're full of anger, you can't even praise the Lord. Yeah, right, right. right. Amen. Not acceptable. 
He said to lift up holy hands without wrath. Without anger, yeah. Go around and try to sing. Go around and try to preach. Go around and try to witness. Got anger in your heart. It, it, it ain't going as high as that ceiling thing. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. And you ought to be spiritual enough to know it. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. You ought to be spiritual enough to know it. And you ought not run around with people that are up in that kind of spirit. Amen. 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 Come on. I preached it last night. Yeah. The Bible says for you to separate yourself, people yeah. won't repent. Yeah. Separate yourself. Come on. You run around with them, you hang around with them, you're sanctioning what they're doing. Yeah. That's right. Come on. Come on, I'm going to tell you the truth. Amen. Amen. One of these days, when you, if you ever make it to heaven, you'll be glad you had a preacher tell you the truth. Amen. 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 Won't be like that. That uh, that preacher I talked, or that man I talked about the other night, went to hell. And this man had a vision of this guy that went to hell. And he was walking around through hell. This was just a vision, but he was reaching down into the fire and getting people by the head and pulling them up, looking at them, dropping them back down, picking them up, looking at them, dropping them back down, picking them up. Kept on, kept on doing that. Finally, somebody asked him, said, "What in the world are you doing? What are you looking for?" He said, "I'm looking for that preacher that didn't tell me the truth." Amen. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah. You can hate me all you want, but if you ever get right, you'll love me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You say, Randy, you preach with an angry spirit. No, I don't. I'm angry at sin. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. You have to tell you the truth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. What he said about Jesus when he had overturned the money changers table, didn't he? Yeah. That's right. Was Jesus wrong? No. You say, are you saying you're Jesus? No. But I'm going to preach the truth. Hallelujah. I don't care if you get mad at me. I don't care if you smack me. Because I'll sick the Holy Ghost on you. And you'll be the most miserable man in the world. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I'm sick the Holy Ghost on you. But people don't know him. They'll say, what did he do? I don't have to worry about him. Marla will take care of him. Amen. All right. <laughs> People say, you might not laugh in church. Where'd you get that? Oh, I see, I right. saying, I we need to laugh, but we also need the tears too. Yeah. Yes. Right. Amen. We need to cry for lost in the dying world. Yeah. But we have the first two now. The Holy Spirit indwelling us believers is God's earnest money. So to speak, guaranteeing him or guaranteeing us the future glorification. Of our bodies. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. The deposit or partial payment in itself is a guarantee that the full amount will be paid later. As I quoted it earlier. I want to quote it again. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Spiritually speaking, brother, spiritually speaking, we are at the right hand of God right now. Yeah. I'm as good as there. Yeah. Amen. Can't no devil get me. No. Amen. Can't no devil get me as hard. You know, I ain't worried about the devil getting me. If the devil could get me, he'd already got me. Yeah. If the devil could kill me, he'd already kill me. The devil don't like me preaching like this. And if the devil could kill me, he would already kill me. He can't do a thing. Yeah. I'm under the protection of God over yeah. here. He had a sacrifice, and Satan said, I can't get to you because there's a hedge. Yeah. You know what that hedge was? It was the blood of the Lamb. It was yeah. the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah yeah. to the Lamb of God. Quit yeah. worrying about the devil and start worrying about pleasing Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, let me clarify that. You don't please Jesus by coming to church. Yeah. Come on. Amen. You don't please Jesus. Now, you should go to church. You don't please Jesus by paying your tax. You should pay your tax. Yeah. You don't please Jesus by going to visit in the hospital. Yeah. You pl you please God by faith. Yes. For without faith it is impossible yes. to please God. Amen. Now, once you have your faith placed right and you're pleasing, you will come to church. Yeah. You will pay your tithe. You will visit. You will have work. But none of those gains you favor or merit with God. Amen. Only the blood of the Lamb and the cross and our faith.
place, properly placed. Yeah. Too many people are trusting in, oh, I can sing. Oh, I can preach. Oh, I go to church. Oh, I do this. Oh, I do that. The devil does all of that. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Go ahead and laugh with me. <laughs> The devil does it all. Every time Jesus went to church, and Satan was there too, wasn't he? Yeah. Jesus wasn't worried about it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Come on. We've been worried about the devil on the side. My goodness, why are you worried about the devil? Uh -uh. Right. You need to get in the Word. Amen. First John 3, 8. I done quoted it twice. I'm going to quote it one more time. For this purpose... Was the Son of God manifested that He might destroy the works yes. of the devil? And if you will believe in what Jesus did at the cross, the devil has no yeah. hold on you. You are sanctified. Hey. You are justified. Hey. And one day to be glorified. Don't worry about the devil. Yeah. Worry about pleasing Him. Yeah. And you only please Him Amen. by your faith properly placed Amen. in the cross yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because that's the power source. Yeah. Right. I'm going to say it again. I said it last night. I said it in the first part of this message. And I'm going to say it again. As sincere as you are, and as much as you love God, as much as you want to give up something that's got you bound, and you are trying with all that's within you, I'm going to tell you, look at him. He's grinning at me. He knows. <laughs> look at him. He knows who his pastor is. Oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. As sincere as you are, and as hard as you work, whatever you're praying for, you will not receive. No matter how many times you say Jesus, no matter how many times you shout, if your faith is not placed properly in the cross, in what Jesus did, as sincere as you love God with all their heart. Yeah. But they're trying yeah. in their own effort. Yeah. Trying. They love God. They're working hard. They're doing good things. They're Sunday school teachers. They're preachers. They're singers. They're visitors. They're tithers. They, they're, they're doing all these things. But none of that, as dedicated as you are, will earn you one thing with God. Amen. 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 Only the finished work. Calvary. Amen. Amen. And if you ever see Calvary, yeah. and you ever see the glory of what he did there, that anger spirit will leave. Yeah. Right. That hatred will leave. Yeah. Yeah. That that spirit of lust that has you bound will leave. Yeah. Everything that has you bound, it'll leave. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that everything's going to be a bed of roses after that. Satan's not giving up easily. But when you have your faith placed properly, he realizes that yeah. he's got to back off. You know why he backs off? I'm going to say it again in closing. I'm almost done. As much as the Holy Spirit is here for us, as much as God's sending down here to work and to live in us and to work, he only works... Listen to this and listen very closely. He only works. He only works. He only works when our faith is placed properly yeah. in the cross. Amen. Amen. It's a law. Yeah. And God obeys the law. Yeah. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, to them who walk. Not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Here it is. Listen. Listen. Here it is. For the law Amen. of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus, it's a law, has made me free from the law of sin and death. Whatever it is that you're struggling with, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You know, you say, Randy, you believe Christians can be bound with internet pornography? Absolutely. Yeah. You believe Christians can be bound with alcohol? Absolutely. You believe Christians that love God can be bound in homosexuality? Absolutely. Sin is sin. And bless God, when you fool around with sin, it'll grab a hold of you. Yeah. But bless God, when you release yeah. your faith in the finished work of cross, I'm telling you, you'll be yeah. delivered. It don't take God a long time to do it. He'll deliver yeah. you instantly. Yeah. Hallelujah. You say, Randy, I don't believe Christians can do that. And you say,
say you're saved. You say you're saved. And you are so self-righteous. You may not be an internet pornography. You may not be a homosexual. You may not be drinking. But bless God, don't tell me you haven't sinned. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me you haven't sinned since you've been saved. You self-righteous thing. You need to get saved. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Everybody else's sin is always worse than yours, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not promoting any of that. No. I'm saying God can deliver you from any of it. But don't think anybody can't, don't think the Christian can't sin. Yeah. yeah. You don't know a thing about the word if you think a Christian can't sin. Amen. Hey. <coughs> Amen. Read Romans 7 again. Yeah. That which I would, I do not. That which I would not, that I do. Oh, wretched man that I am. Here's a Christian man. Yeah. Now, I know most people, most churches are teaching that today, that uh, that was a man that was uh, before his co conversion. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, come on. There's no way. Yeah. That's a man that is struggling. Yeah. And God gave him the revelation yeah. of the cross. Yes. And he's seen that he could be delivered. Yeah. Well, this was a man saved, a man that was baptized uh, with the Holy Spirit, a man that was building churches, a man that was uh, going out and being used of God with the gifts of the Spirit, a man being used in a mighty way, but he was struggling. But bless God, God showed him yeah. the power of the cross. And yeah. he was set free. Ooh. Hallelujah. He said, oh, wretched man that I am, who Ooh. shall deliver me from the body Ooh. of this death? It was like he was dragging that old man still around with him. He wanted to be delivered. That's yeah. when God showed him. He said, there is no
done for us. When we think of a great, such a great salvation, this ought to elicit constant praise and glory. Yes, sir. Amen. In our hearts. The psalmist in Psalm 29, verse 1 and 2 said, Give unto the Lord, O oh, you mighty, give unto the Lord glory yes. and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory do His name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. See, the, it's telling us there, we are to give the glory that's due His name. So we want the Lord to pay us. And the psalmist, or the Holy Ghost is telling us there, in the psalmist, we ought to give the glory due His name. Okay. Amen. We ought not to have to pump somebody. We ought not to have to ask somebody. We ought to come in here. Everybody ought to be praising the Lord. Yeah. Poking in here shouting yeah. and giving glory to His name. Yeah. We ought to be, our life ought to yeah. be, but praising glory yeah. to His name. Yeah. I've been saved. I've been delivered. I've been sanctified. I've been justified. I'm just waiting to be glorified. I'm redeemed by the blood yeah. of God. But you got to be careful. You start opening yourself up for testimony. A lot of people get up and kill the service in a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why a lot of these churches cut it out. People get that, they just kill it. The Spirit of God don't don't like people killing the service. Yeah. Are you with me? Come on. Amen. I love good testimony, but I hate a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I come into church to worship and praise the Lord. Right. I don't. I, I don't like people get up and give glory to the devil. No. Yeah. Amen. 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 I've told them over my church. I love you, but bless God, I'll set you down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll set you down. Come uh on. -huh. Get the door. There you go, brother. <laughs> amen. I got one amen right there. <laughs> Why put a damper on the surface? Yeah. Amen. I mean, you come in to praise the Lord. Yeah. Right. You know, a testimony ought to lift you up, not a testimony <laughs> tear you down. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Amen. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think his sister's been around a little bit. <laughs> She's heard a few moans. <laughs> 72 no, years. Hallelujah. How could you be on the way 72 years you're only 54 years old? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I've done talking to here tonight. Haven't you? So. 72 years old. 72 years you've been saved? Yeah. That deserves That's a praise of the Lord. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But you've seen a lot of good times too. Amen. 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 You've seen God do work, mighty works, haven't you? Right. Amen. And, and we're not to dwell on the bad ones, we're to dwell on the good ones. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I don't like bad testimonies. I like the good ones. Yeah. Amen. 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 If you ain't got a good one, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. The, praise, the Bible said, Praise the Lord. There's nothing in there that's not praise the devil. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. burn me here. He right my back. Well, what are you leaving him on there? That's right. Amen. Amen. Just make <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalm 29. Let me read it again, okay? The Bible says, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Yeah. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Yeah. Hallelujah. That means that a church that is not a praise and glory church. Is not really a church, sure. but only a gathering of people, mm. which could mean anything. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, come on. A lot of people, you, 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 you know, circus got a crowd. <laughs> moose, moose got a crowd. Ooh. The Masonic Lodge has got a crowd. Yeah. yeah. God ain't there. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, brother. God ain't there. That's right. 
God's where His people. He said, "We're two or three people gathered together in my name." Yeah. Like, that's yeah. God. I can't. I can't go 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 to a lodge. And one guy's a Buddhist. And one yeah. guy's a Hindu. Right. One guy's a Muslim. And one guy's something else. And we're gonna bow down to an altar and pray whatever God you want to pray to. No, there's only one God. Right. Jesus yeah. said, I'm, hey. the way. I'm the truth. Yeah. Yeah. People mad sometimes when I get to preaching on them masons. But bless God, they need to get saved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Man. You know, I've heard to the world. Amen, brother. Bless God, I've always heard all my life. Amen, Corner. And I've got one here tonight. He's your Amen, Corner. Amen. 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 Praise God. Like one preacher I heard years ago. Just like a just like a rabbit dog. Bless God when somebody says amen. It just, just takes me off. Want me to go chase another rabbit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got forever. Hey, brother. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Nick, can shake your hand when you walk in. Hallelujah. All right. In closing, how many times has this been? Fifth? Bless the Lord. In closing. First one. First one. In, first one in closing. I said earlier I was trying to quit, didn't I? I just trying to find a landing spot. Amen. All right. In closing, I'm going to say it again. This means that a church is not a praise and glory church. It's really not a church. It's just a gathering of people, which could mean anything. It's sad, but there are many churches that have never really praised the Lord. There's a lot of churches I've been in, and they've never really praised the Lord. It's dry and shucks. What they need is the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you the reason. Why? He's not in their hearts. Because if he's in their hearts, the Bible right here says there be some praise and glory yes. come out. When he is in there, praise and glory will be automatic. For it is impossible to be any other way. When he's in your heart, there'll be praise and glory there. Amen. Now, I know there's still yet is a man here in spirit. I know that. I know that. But I'm going to tell you, nobody's going to laugh at you. Nobody's going to make fun of you when you stand up to testify. If you will stand up you will give the devil a black eye. Yes. Amen. If you will stand up and give praise and glory to Jesus, yes. he will honor that. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that's what he wants you to do. Yeah. Yes. Now, the devil don't want you to do that. And the Bible says that we're supposed to be praise and glory unto his name. Yes. Right. We are to praise his holy name. You know, I've been in churches before, small churches where there wasn't but five, I've been in services before where there was 10,000. And I've seen people just get up and say, I'm glad I'm saved. Yeah. Said, God damn it, yeah. set the whole church on fire. Because yeah. 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 see, it's not in words. People, yeah. try, to, people try to say, well, I'll, I'll get up and I'll show them how spiritual I am. You might as well just sit down and shut That's up. Right. Yeah. 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 Bless God, we can't none of us. That ain't very good, very much. That's all right. That's what West Side. Yeah. Come yeah. on. <laughs> None of us could do anything that will glorify His name outside of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. It takes the anointing yes. to win souls. Amen. Yes. It takes the anointing to be a blessing. Amen. It takes the anointing to set the captive free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people misjudge <coughs> talent for the anointing. Somebody can sing good. Somebody's a good speaker. Somebody's a good orator. Orator, whatever, however you say it. Got good oratorical skills. And they speak and people think, oh. But see, that's just talent. God don't need talent. Amen. He can use talent, yeah. but he don't need talent. Yeah. Sometimes people go, oh, they got talent. So, have they been with Jesus? Amen. 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 
Bible wow, talking about the disciples there, but it's that, uh, in the early book of Acts, it, uh, they looked at uh, the disciples uh, that they was unlearned and ignorant men, but they took note that they did with Jesus. Uh, amen. Yeah. Bless God, it takes the Holy Ghost. Uh, you don't have to have any ability. You don't have to have any talent, yeah. but if the Holy Ghost yeah. gets on you, God can use you yeah. the same word. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Say, bless God, he did quit. <coughs> oh, hallelujah. Folks, I want to tell you tonight, God loves you. There is nobody in the whole world that God loves any more than you. I don't care if you're here tonight, you've been saved for 40 years, or you're unsaved. God loves you. For God is love. And he will deliver you from whatever you're struggling with. Whatever you've been wrestling with whatever that has you bound, or whatever you're seeking Him for, if you will place your faith properly in the cross. You say, Randy, I've got my faith in the cross. I'm not talking about for your salvation. I'm talking about for your daily walk, your sanctification. What has you bound, what you've been struggling with. You know what? There's financial blessings in the cross. There's healings in the cross. There's jobs in the cross. There's deliverance from sin in the cross. And if you will anchor your faith and trust only in the cross, none of you, none of your church, none of your works, I'm promising you on the authority of God's Word, He'll deliver you. Now I want to ask tonight, if there's anybody here tonight that's struggling with something, you've been struggling for a long time. You love God with all your heart. You've been saved for a while. Or maybe you've only been saved a week or two, but you're struggling. You've got something that you need help with. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm not your help. Your wife or your husband is not your help. Your church is not your help. The cross is your help. I guarantee you on the authority of God's Word, you will get your answer. If you're here tonight and you've got, you've got something that you need Him to help you with, I want you to raise your hand right now. I see your hand. I see that hand. Is there another hand? I see another hand. Yes. Is there another hand? Is there another hand? I see that hand. Hands all over the house tonight. Hands all over the house. Is there another hand? You're struggling. You're struggling. I see the hand. Maybe you're just seeking God for a, a fresh revelation. You're seeking God for a fresh anointing. Yeah. Your anointing's in the cross. Yeah. If that's you tonight, slip up your hand. You just want a fresh, I see the hand. You just want a fresh touch. A fresh wave of glory in your soul. That's, it'll come from the cross. Everything comes from the cross. You receive nothing. Outside of the cross, is there another hand? I see that hand. All right. As everybody stands, I don't know how we're going to do this. We got a song. We got a piano player here tonight. Do we have a piano player? Marvin, come up here and play. Can you play just as I am, or some kind of an altar call, or something? And I want to ask you, those of you tonight, I'm not here to embarrass anybody, but I'm telling you, if you had enough. Uh, uh, desire in you to raise your hand you ought to have enough desire to come down here and release your faith in the cross this is revival, this is time for you to come right now if you gave your hand, I want you to come right now even if you didn't give your hand I want you to come right now and release your faith in the cross, I'm telling you God will answer you if you will release your faith in the proper way everybody that gave their hand, come right now come right now, in the name of Jesus come right now even if you did give your hand, you need an answer. I want you to come right now. I want you to come right now. Hallelujah. Bless you, sister. Bless your heart. You need an answer. You need an answer from God. I want you to come right now. All over the house. All over the house. Every hand that went up, come down. Every hand that didn't go up, but you were struggling with something. I want you to come right now. Come right now. In the name of Jesus, there's the power of God here. The anointing to set you free. Whoever you are, whatever the need, I'm telling you, God will do that work. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for my sister. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of the Lamb. And I believe tonight, Father, on the authority of God's Word. I pray for my sister, Lord. In Jesus' name, by the authority of the cross, by the authority of the finished work, we rebuke the devourer, whatever he's coming against these young ladies with. We rebuke him in Jesus' name, and we release the power 
a victory in their lives, the victory of the cross. Well, in Jesus' name, help them to release them right now. Lord, not trust in anything. Not trust in any good thing they can do. But look to the cross. Say, Jesus, that's my answer. Lord, I'm trusting in what you did at the cross. I'm giving you my need. I'm giving you my burden. I'm giving you my care. Lord, I release it to the cross where Satan was defeated. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, I thank you for victory tonight in the hearts of my brother and sister tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as there is in Jesus' name, the power of the blood of the Lamb, the power of Jesus' name, the resurrected Savior. Hallelujah. Oh, we know that victory was won at the cross. Whatever that need is, thank you, Lord, that you're releasing it right now in their life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we plead the blood of the Lamb. We thank you for the victory that was fought at Calvary. And Lord, right now, we release that power into these situations here. Well, whatever the need is, whatever the burden, whatever the heartache, whatever the care, whatever the blessing is that they're seeking after, in Jesus' name, we agree with Him right now that through the power of the cross, the power of the gospel, well, that need is met right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless His wonderful name. Hallelujah. There's victory in the name of Jesus. There's victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you've got a need tonight, God's not done. Amen. God's not done if you've got a need. Hallelujah. It's been a wonderful place to be tonight. Amen. I'm telling the word is powerful. Oh. Paul wrote Hebrews, and I believe he did. He said, For the word of God is quick, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Of the joints and the marrow is a discerner of the thought and intents of the heart. You know God knows every thought you've had in my yes. yes. <laughs> He knows every thought you have. There's nothing hid from him. Yeah. And you know what? A lot of people don't believe this, but it's a fact, it's a word. God revealed his secrets to the prophet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God has many times showed the preacher, showed the minister things that's going on in people's hearts and people's lives. They think they got healed. Right. Now, does he do it all the time? No. But he, only, he doesn't do it to condemn. He doesn't do it to judge. He does it to be a blessing and help. Yeah. He didn't come to condemn the world, but for the world through him might be saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks, you can't fool God. Yeah. You can't fool the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And anything in your life tonight that you need to get rid of, you need to leave it here tonight. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right, I've obeyed the Lord tonight. Now, there's one more person that needs to obey the Lord tonight. Somebody needs to get the preacher and drink the water. <laughs> I'd like to say it's been a wonderful place to be tonight. Amen. God's been here. Good job, Brian. Amen. Amen. How many of you love Him with all your heart? Amen. 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 If you don't love Him with all your heart, shame on you. You can be good to us. Even if you're a saved and a, and a drunken heart, you still ought to love Him. He'd be good to you. Amen. But He'll be even gooder to you. Gooder, like it were. Even better to you. Thank you, Ray Ray. <laughs> All right. Come on up here, Brother Troy. Bless you. What a wonderful, what a wonderful message. Amen. 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 Aren't you thankful for the Spirit of the Lord speaking to our brother? I mean, I believe God really spoke to us this morning. Amen. I'm very thankful. Very thankful. Yes. It's, it's an amazing thing for God to deal with our hearts. Yes, it is. It's, it's a wonderful thing to be said. The psalmist said, he said, I will praise the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. He said, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, hallelujah. Isn't it wonderful? Hallelujah. Isn't it wonderful that we can go about praising the Lord no matter where we're at, no matter what we're going through, no matter what kind of trials, no matter what situation we're in, God gives us the power to be able to overcome. 
gives us the ability to praise and worship Him in spirit and truth. Yes. Anybody else have anything that you want to add or say or anything you need to pray about? Maybe a song? Everybody's been obedient. Hallelujah. That's what I like when everybody's been obedient. Amen. Amen. Everybody can walk out here shouting. Amen. Been obedient. Kids, come on up and we'll praise the Lord. <laughs> Yeah. 